Oh, tell me about your Audi because the fans want to know. Tell me why it's special. Go show me. Well, why is this a special Audi? Why do you think it's faster than the Sirius Aries wagon? I don't know. It might be. It might not. Well, I'm not too did sure. Have you ever had it on the track and did quarters or zero to a hundreds? I, I did have it at Cayuga Speedway. Yeah. The best race, the best one was my first run. I did a 15-5 flat. Well, you'll never touch the Aries K wagon then. Mind you, my car was stock when I did it. Well, I've you've done. Oh, then. you've. Well, no, I, I don't know if you've got a half a second on me with just a chip. Maybe I don't. Nah. Know. You never know. Okay, let's see I why your Audi's special. Go First, you got to tell me what kind of Audi you have. Well, basically, it's a 1995. It's a, it is a real Quattro. It is a real Quattro. So it's all-wheel drive. It's and a 95 Audi S6. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a it's a legitimate S6. Um, here, let me pop the hood. And you got a German plate in there? I did. Or did I you steal did. that off my ricer? I got, this, I got this plate in Germany. There's a hilarious story <laughs> about this. I found this plate, me and my uncle, I took a vacation to Germany, and we were going on the Autobahn, we were heading to Amsterdam, and I saw this truck going slow in the slow lane, and it had this plate on it. It said Bond 530. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I have to have that plate. So my uncle had a toolkit in his car with some screwdrivers and stuff and I said follow that truck. So you're admitting to theft in Germany? Yes. So that means you can't go back to Germany now that you've admitted to theft in Germany? Probably not because they'll probably... I, I think there's a, a bench warrant out for you now for the arrest of the person that stole that plate. I bet. Oh I my god. Bet. Oh, I well. think that I'm... I think I, I'm banned from... Pro I'm probably banned from Germany for life. Oh yeah, there's definitely I'm, a warrant. You better I, not go in Autobot again. They I see you, they're gonna they, pull you they over. Definitely yep. get me if I go yep. there. Nab by YouTube. Let's pop the hood. I still have some of Adam's little residue from here. All drew right. a little, okay. Is it standard or automatic? It is a five speed. Oh, standard. it is a five speed. And it how much did you pay for this car? I paid, I stole it from the guy. The dealership I bought it off of. I know you're into theft. $2,900. Whoa. This guy. And how long ago was that? This was in May of last year. Oh, okay. This guy didn't know anything about it. No, I have never driven one of these cars. So how many kilometers are on it? It's got high miles. It's got 282,000. Oh, okay. It's all highway. It's an Audi. It's not that bad. All highway miles. It's pretty deluxe inside still. It's pretty nice. I love this car. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship. It's even got a sunroof. Yeah. And I've got the... And did all these Quattro things come on yeah. it already? I had some stickers made for it. Oh, I see. I'm all obsessed with the whole Quattro Ooh, thing. Ooh, you're pop, an Audi fan, eh? Let's pop the hood. I'm German and natural. Oh, so you I have, are. I have to be a natural Audi fan. Let's pop the hood. I just recently even bought some rims for it. This oh. is the engine in it. I just did some work to it today. I replaced a tiny little hose. Took all of five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. A typical five-cylinder 2.2. 2.2 turbo Plus a, a big turbo. Yep, five cylinder, oh, 20 valve. Where's the intercooler? It doesn't have one? It does have an intercooler. The intercooler Where is, is buried it? in the front bumper, right in on, right under That's here. under there. Under the headlight. It's a tiny, oh, yeah. tiny little intercooler. There it is. It's quite small. Yeah, it won't even catch direct air on a slope like that. Yeah. Oh well, I'm it does have an intercooler. It's I'm got a long pipe going to it, so it must have some lag. Basically, what it does is the turbo it pressurizes, and then it goes yeah, out crossover pipe, and then it goes into the intercooler. It comes and out then there, up underneath yep. the headlight, and goes into the intercooler. So, how much horsepower are these things rated for? The factory, they've got 230 horsepower. I've I have a, a chip kit on this, and I've chipped it to I think 270 to 280 approximately. Oh, okay. A couple more a little horsepower, a little more oomph. You know what I mean? It's okay. Cool. Well, I'll start it up. Let's hear it run. It I haven't even heard it run yet. It does the trick for me. There, I'll start it up. I'll fire it up right now. Let's get it on. Five All spark right, coils. <laughs> Sounds pretty mild. You know what? I decided yeah. to keep the factory exhaust on it. Yeah. Just because I don't want everybody to know that this thing's all fancy. Now, is this a wastegate that's not hooked up or something? No, the wastegate's hooked up. This is actually a pressure tester to see if the diaphragm busted. Oh, I see. Quite yeah, that's pretty uh, good. Nice. So what's the red line on it? Seven? Seven grand. Seven grand, I like Seven it. Seven grand all the way. And you know what, Dave? As you say, a little red line for, for a good, good time. time. Oh, yep. Yeah. Does it have beer holders? It does. It has two. Cool. They're filled with change right now because damn. Tim well, Morgan's. you gotta have money to buy beer. 
I know. That's what the change is for. As soon as the pocket gets full, you got enough money in there for a beer, you go stop and buy some. Every time I go to work, those damn drive through Timmy's, they always give me nickels and dimes. They don't sell beer at Timmy's. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to the wrong spot. Those bastards. <laughs> Alrighty. That's what they wanted to know. What kind of Audi you were driving, and it's the kind they were looking forward to. I Sweet. just found out that there was a drive through beer store at, in Hamilton. <laughs> I'm going to have to take, take a day trip and go there one day. Definitely. You're not too far from there. I'm not. No, I'm just in Burlington, which yeah. is the next city over. Cool. But this thing definitely gets me to and from... Uh, Doing from work every day, get the job done. Sweet.